Hi guys, it's Amanda Watson from MrsWatsonEducation.com and this video is all about getting your custom Bitmoji and putting it into your virtual classroom, just like this one. Hi! Okay, so if you have no idea how to make a Bitmoji classroom, what a Bitmoji virtual classroom is, I highly recommend you going back to my previous blog post where I have information and a tutorial video on how to set something like this up or even better because you guys could be way more creative than me. And, um, and so that you kind of know what we're doing as we go into this next video. Okay, so that would be recommended, but let's go ahead and get started with actual Bitmoji um, and what that means. So across the top, what I'd highly recommend you guys do is go to your app store, either Apple or Google Play, and install the Bitmoji app. Um, you're going to need to do this because through Bitmoji app, you can actually take a picture of yourself and it'll help you customize and make your unique Bitmoji to you. Now in my app, I had, I don't, know how well this is going to work, but I kind of want to show you what that looks like. So once you go into the app, whatever um, format you have, it's going to ask you a series of questions. You get to customize your Bitmoji. Now anything you customize, like the um, the face angles and the eyes and you know your hairstyles, all that stuff, can be adjusted as you go through on the app only. So you're going to need to have the app. Um, you can see mine a little bit. I know it's a little bit rougher right there. Um, you have all these options. I've already customized it. If I could go to my avatar and customize the hair, the eyebrows, okay, my eye color, all sorts of things right there. Um, the where you're gonna spend most of your time after you do the initial customization is going to be with like the hats. So you could add a bunch of hats to your Bitmoji, um, glasses, and if there's a one with the um, hanger, so you're gonna have different costumes, your wardrobe. Once you have a costume picked out, you'll save into um, that as a wardrobe to make that a little bit easier. And I like to change my hairstyles from my messy bun to my long hair down and the ponytail, depending on what I'm doing and how I feel like being in my virtual classroom. So that's all on the app. Now, after you do that, that's really fun customizing your app and trying to get it to look just like you. I had to get some help from my husband, who's a little bit more, uh, I, it was hard for me to customize my app to look like me without outsider help. So just a little tip right there. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to Bitmoji. I have these links in my blog post, all, um, all of them for the different mobile apps, but also this one. You're gonna to want to get the Chrome extension, okay? I already have this um, signed in, and this is gonna save you so much time because if you only use the app, you can find all sorts of Bitmoji poses. You could save them and you could upload them to your drive or your computer, um, send them different ways. But most of the time I've noticed that they um, are saved with the white background included, which means you have to do a whole extra step of removing that background before you can put it into a classroom to move around like this. How fun is that? It could go anywhere, okay? Um, so using the Chrome extension removes all those extra steps and makes it very easy. So I have that linked in my blog. Um, you should probably do that. I'm going to show you what that looks like on my screen. So my, I have it pinned to my extension bar. I have so many things up there. And this is what that looks like. So in that, I can search for terms. And one that you'll use a lot is pose. And it has all the standing full body pose. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Um, there's different categories like frequently used. Uh, they have the one saying hi, you know, the ones are happy, celebration ones. So there's so many different Bitmojis you can use depending on your mood and what you're trying to portray in your Bitmoji virtual classroom, which is really cool. Now, putting it into your classroom is so simple. So right now I have this one saying hello, you know, greeting my students. I like that one, but maybe it's a more serious day, and I want them to really pay attention to the screen. So I use this one a lot. Um, there's, I like this one too. They have the beanbag ones. Um, if you just hit, like, I think it's called sit. Oh yeah, so a lot of people use this one for when they have like a chair or a couch in their Bitmoji classroom. Um, that one works well. If you use books, there's them sitting down with books. These two are highly used a lot as well. So there's a lot of search terms you'll get used to, but for now, I'm just going to show you this. So this one I've already used, so it saves my top eight favorites of the last eight use, I should say, not favorites. I'm going to just right click, copy the image, and then I'm gonna right click and paste it into my slide presentation, and there it is. The background's removed, it is 
all I need. So I don't want two of me because that might be kind of scary. Um, they can't deal with two of me, I don't think. It's too much. <laughs> Anyways, what I did there is I went to um, format options for the picture and I just flipped it around because I didn't want it on that side of the room because I designed my room to have a Bitmoji over here. And I could scale it down so it fits better. I can make it much larger depending on the scale I want. Um, that's all up to you. I hate having um, the extra space around it. It really doesn't make a difference on the, anything. So I always just double click it and um, crop it down just so it's easier for me to see when I move. But that's just a personal preference and it has actually no impact on the, um, the functionality. So that's as easy as that is. And I could just go back up there and get whatever I want and add it into my scenes. Now, if you want to change something about your Bitmoji, so say this one right here has my hair in a, my middle messy bun, and that's my standard go to school, you're waking up early. Um, hairdo but maybe it's first day of school so I'm gonna be fancy and I'm going to have my hair you know blow dried and down so what I'm going to do and I'll show you how simple this is I'm going to my app I'm going to hairstyles and I'm going to go ahead and just find the hairstyle I switched it from the hair up to hair down I'm going to save at the top and now instantly if I go over here my same Bitmojis have my hair down. So you could do that with outfit changes and all sorts of things to make your scenes highly customizable um, and really personal. It's a really fun way. It's kind of, it's silly to think that it took us this long to make these classrooms because the idea is so great, you know, linking resources to places and having it all in one place for a student. And it's weird that to me that it took having these Bitmoji characters, which have, by the way, been around for a while. I think this is one of the benefits of coronavirus spurring us to be creative in education. Um, but you could see here, like just having the characters in your classroom brings it to another level and the students are, laugh. So you could change your Bitmoji character every day. There's some in like full, um, like, winter outfits, you know, freezing off. So if it's like really cold outside, you could do so many things um, just to make it a little bit fun and your students be a little bit more engaged in their lessons with you. So you can see here, hair up, hair down. That was just a click of my phone. Unfortunately, you can't change the outfits as of right now using the Chrome extension, um, but it does make life a lot easier. Now, last thing before I go is some, I've noticed and some other people have noticed that some of the um, poses and things available on the phone app are not available in the Chrome extension. So in that case, if you find one that you can't live without, there's like one reclining on a beach chair with an umbrella that's only on the phone that you can't um, find over here yet. I don't know. I think they transition them slowly. I am not sure. Anyways, um, you can still save it on your phones, import it to your Google Drive, and remove the background and do it that way. It's, it's a little bit more time consuming, but worth it if you find like a uh, Bitmoji pose that you cannot live without. There's so many, there's like a tardigrade one for science and there's just some really cool things. So that's how you do Bitmoji um, to make your virtual classrooms into Bitmoji virtual classrooms and so much fun. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video and remember stay tuned. Sorry, I'm like sink down. Stay tuned to the next um, videos in the series and you can always go back and watch the other videos if you need to re learn how to make the classroom and I thank you so much. Remember www.mrswatsoneducation.com and I'll see you then. Bye!